Hey, what's up, guys? Doing a little test for a customer in New Zealand. They need an electric ignition, all fuel burner. So I gotta see how this thing acts with a little bit of air thrown on it. Damn transformer just blew up. Apparently that wasn't a hundred percent duty cycle. Oh, it smells bad. Well, so chapter six is something happening. It does say constant duty on there. Dang man, let's see if I get a new transformer. I kind of just got screwed out of 80 bucks. Yes, yeah, so I paid like 76, probably 80 bucks after the eBay tax and all that. So, man, that sucks. I need this part now. All right, so we're not doing that. I've got another transformer that I could hook up, but what's the point? I, I, I got to ship this thing, and they use 220 volts in... New Zealand. I have a theory of what may have happened here. And getting a new transformer is not going to solve the problem if my theory is correct. When we increased the arc by blowing air on it, and it was quite a bit of air, enough air that I could really feel a blast in my hand up here. Doing so increased the arc distance and also the power of the arc. If we would have hooked this up to a watt meter, we would have saw a spike in power output. I've observed this time and time again. The bigger that spark gets, the more power output that's drawn through the transformer. All right, this is a different transformer, also 100% duty cycle. We're at 40 watts, and that is a really nice hot arc. That is really humming. Now I'm gonna turn the air on and if we see a drastic spike over here, that may derate the machine. It won't be 100% duty cycle anymore. There it goes. Okay, so I, I was wrong. It's not a substantial amount of current difference. There was a little difference. I'm not feeling any heating. You know, I don't want to rip this guy off. So if I'm torturing his equipment and I'm not going to call him out on it and try and get a new one. So I'm going to leave this thing run for a while. And if I blow this one up too, I'm not going to hit him up for the refund. I'm going to let this thing run for like 10 minutes. Then Oh, I knew it. That's why I unplugged it when I felt the heat. It gave me a little lick there. She bites. All right, let's turn the air back on. Maybe. That's just not very much air at all.
It's gonna look something like that, fellas. This is one of my silicon carbide burners, but this is the vertical version. All right, so this is quite the weird little contraption here, this one. It's, got, it's potted, it's got a circuit board down in there, which I don't like. I would prefer a simple transformer. This is some type of Chinese cheapo driver that gets them out of using a bunch of copper wire. That's why they're so fancy on the electronic crap. They don't want to have to splurge on that copper. And this thing did fine. It's not getting hot. So I'm going to hit old boy up for a refund. This thing's still warm. Tell me what you guys think. I think this thing's just a piece of junk. I've been using these things on many, many projects and have left them on forever and never had a problem before. And uh, I don't know, that's what I'm doing tonight. I'm gonna be doing an update on this contraption here a little bit too. We're still making some good brown gas. I found that uh, the second scrubber bottle, bottle is absolutely unnecessary. You don't need it. N nonetheless, I do have that hose vented to the outside. <laughs>